Hello everyone, this is Andre at Simwell. In this video, you'll see a practical demonstration of how to use one of the new tools in Arena 15, the statistics template. So to demonstrate the different statistics features here, we'll be using this model here, which is a part workshop. And basically we're creating one part every minute, and then the parts go through two processes with one resource for each, so machining and then finishing. So both are a little shorter than one minute on average, so that we don't get too many parts stuck in our system. But we will have some accumulation based on the variability. And we want to measure a certain number of things here. So basically, first, we will want to create a variable to get the number of parts in the system. So the work and process here, the whip, and we'll be using, instead of a, a sign module, the new whip module here. That's coming from the statistics template, the new template. And the whip is very simple. So you either choose increment or decrement by a certain quantity, and you choose which variable will be the place where you store the value. And then obviously at the end here, I will decrement, same variable. And that whip, in order to see it in the stats, has been added in the new time persistent spreadsheet here. So all of the spreadsheets are separate now. Tally, counter, time persistent, and frequency, the different types of stats. They also exist in the original statistic spreadsheet here, but it's easier to find and to manage here with these new spreadsheets. Uh, we're going to want to measure two more things in this model. So basically, I want to see how much time the parts spend either waiting for finishing or being finishing. So the total time waiting plus the process here will be recorded. In order to do this, we will first save a timestamp. So we're memorizing the moment where the part gets to the finishing area here. And instead of using an assign module, we're using the new timestamp module here. And basically, a timestamp module is super simple. It's just an attribute name. So it will assign the current simulation time to that attribute, storing basically a TNOW value in the attribute. So when we reach this point here, we're going to want to measure the difference between the new simulation time, the current simulation time at that point, and the, the attribute that's been stored. So we're using the new, well, the, the updated record module. So the record module has been updated so that you can define a few different um, stats in it. So you can record more than one thing with each record module that you drag into your model. So first one here, we've set up a time interval. So we want to measure the difference between the simulation, the current simulation time and the timestamp that we've recorded earlier. And we will tally these values, the values in the tally name here. And in this, at the same time, we're here, we'll use also a counter just to know the total number of parts that are recorded here. So total no, number of parts that are done finishing will be counted here in the counter parts finished. So let's run this model here. I uh, will use the, um, the highlight active module and I'll be stepping through the model with my, my shortcut key, F10. So let's start. So one part every minute. So at time zero, I get my first part. I have I have um, enabled here the runtime elements bar. So if you don't know where that is, it's here in the view runtime elements bar. You can enable it like this, and it only appears while a model is running. Okay. So time zero, we get our first part. We're incrementing the V whip. So our V whip is now one here, and then that part enters machining. And then we have a couple more parts coming in. So our whip is now four. We have one part being uh, three parts, one part being machine, two in queue here, and another one that just finished the machining. So we're memorizing the time here. So that first part here is has done uh, is entering the finishing area at point six seven six nine five minutes. So it's going to be finished right away because there's no queue yet. So a couple more parts are coming in. The whip is increasing. 
And then that first part, the first part that's done with finishing gets to the record here. And we're now at 1.4665 minutes. So if we go back to our, if we go to the debug bar and the active entity, like we said, 0.76. So it's about 0.7 minutes. So the first recording of a finishing time will be here. So the tally sp time spent finishing is now an average value of pretty much 0.7 minutes. It has recorded only one value yet. And the counter was just increased also. Now we'll be decrementing the whip for the first time, going back to four. And as you see, the time persistent whip, so that variable takes care of of tracking down exactly what's going on with the whip. So it, it, it tells you what the maximum value has been, the minimum, standard deviation, and average. So now we can keep running for a bit and the whip keeps moving. We have a couple, some parts are waiting and finishing. And then it'll be very interesting to look at stats. And if we fast forward for a while, Actually, I went all the way to the end of the day, and you can look at the stats. So time spent finishing, one part has actually spent 2.74 minutes, so probably at least two minutes, or about two minutes in the queue, and then time finishing. And you can look at the time persistent whip. So the whip has gone up to as much as 15. So at some point, there were many parts waiting here and a total number of Thank you for watching. Simwell is an Arena Premier Partner. We provide consulting, training, coaching, and support. And remember, if you simulate, Simwell.